it's Toby the Controls Engineer, and we are going to discuss some more no-code, low-code using Crosser. Um, I have a flow that's set up already for sending out an email via the MQTT pop client, um, just so that we can get through this. I pull the data generator. Which you can see that that model generates test data from JSON. The output can be used to test proof of concepts, etc. So, with that in mind, this data generator is sending out an ID of machine one and it's generating temperature and pressure um, once every 10 seconds or 10 samples for every one second. I always have it backwards. Uh, and we are going to aggregate it. So when we aggregate it, it's going to look at the time and grab a count of 100. And we're going to go off of the property temp, data.temp. And I believe it's from machine one. Uh, machine one is always going to be the one that they're counting. Um, filter is active. What are we filtering on? So we're looking for the max value of the aggregate. So the max temperature value that comes across in the sampling. And ah, so the name equal to machine one. Anything else is false. So the name equal machine one for the value. So that's going to filter it, as we see here. The property manager is where we set up what we want to do with it. Um, and in this case, I am sending an email to myself. And the avenue that I'm sending the email is MQTT pub client. Um, so that is going to go out to my pipe client and publish the email. So. If I come over here to test and debug, I connect to my stand box. I am now connected because we see this little arrow or button that says go. And we're going to clear this out. That's what we had last time. Hit the play button. And we are now running the flow. And roughly 10 seconds, we should see some output. And you can see that it sent it to my email and it sent the max value for the aggregate. And if we go to yahoo.com, and I will have a message saying the max value is 15. And as you can see, I've got a lot of training messages because I've sent a few of them out. Anyway, um, if you are interested in this product, you need to go to crosser.io. It's a more robust version of the flow type software that Node-RED is. Um, and it's got a lot of, a lot more, uh, things under the hood than uh, Node-RED.